This is us trying to put a saddle on a dog. Named Sam. Yes, that's Sam. So first you put their pad on. Mine is a poncho folded in half. Step two, find a saddle, preferably less than 10 pounds, like this one. Put it on their back. Step up, see me. Ugh, come on, Ugh, stay. Bad dog. Here, I can move over. All right. That way I can see. Says, no, I don't wanna be on YouTube. Don't wanna be on YouTube. Don't wanna be famous. Then you take the girth, run it through the other side. Uh, do to do, do. Um, run it back through this side, like so. Then run it through the other side. Snug it up now. Snug. At the beginning, don't put it snug. Yeah, so then the saddle can sort of find its place while you're tightening. Then, before you do that, find your girt, find your chest plate. Um, In this case, it's an old belt that yes. broke. A while ago. Then you just do a western or tie knot and put it like this. Then you can tie this. Oh crud, the saddle slipped. Sla saddle sl slippage will occur. Don't be frustrated and throw the saddle. Yes. It will break. Don't be frustrated and smack your dog either. It will break. <laughs> if you smack it hard enough and long enough. Oh, sweet Sammy. We're not going to smack you, we promise. Smack, smack, smack. <laughs> Here, do you want me to hold him? Um, I think I'm good. Okay. See, lots of saddle slippage. Lots of it. <laughs> Wait. You have rolly skin, Sam. This is why you should put the breastplate on before you tighten the saddle. Make sure it's snug so you can just fit this many fingers through. That's a full horse. hand. Yes, with a real horse you would not A kid's want... hand. Yes, with a real horse you would not want it that tight. No. But with a dog, this tight is good because then the saddle doesn't slide around and hurt their back. Let's get a full view. All right, so, so far, we have our girth, at, up. So for, so far we have our girth and our chest piece. Now for the next step, you have a rope attached to the um, back cinch or whatever it's called, um, straps. And preferably it's very long so that you can also make a um, crouper. So you run it around, you get a close up with this knot. And then um, you loop you loop it through like that. And then don't worry, I'll show you for the other side. And tie it up like this, so that it can't slip if it's needed to slip. Up. Your dog may lay down just like this. Up. Up. Don't poo on the carpet. Stay. And that is how you saddle a dog. Next, we will try to bri bridle a dog. I don't think this will go very well. Okay, that's Sam. And that's the saddle. He's still wagging his tail, so it's good.